Hi, I'm Maya and I work with the Up and Movement to abolish the family policing system. I recently helped develop a framework to understand how to abolish the family policing system and understand the difference between reformist steps and abolitionist steps to change the family policing system. This framework was adapted from the work of critical resistance and the work they did around and are still doing around abolishing the carceral state and more specifically policing. So it's important to understand the difference between reformism and abolition. We can understand reformism as steps that are taken that seem to change the current system but actually just reify and give more power to the current system but maybe slightly tweak the outcomes. Abolitionist steps are steps that we can take that really try to wholly dismantle the system and to give power back to communities so that they can, in community with each other, create their own systems and things that work for them and are free from um, oppression and powers from the carceral state. So the framework seeks to understand the difference between reformist steps and abolitionist steps. An example of this that you'll see in the framework is a question of whether providing preventative care within the current family policing system gets us closer to ending the oppression of black and brown families that are within the system. We ask questions like, does this shrink the power of the current family policing system? Does this give power back to families? Does this repair the harm that has been done to families at the hands of the system? And for many of the reforms listed in the framework, you will find that in so many ways, they actually re-give power back to the state and the family policing system and don't work to address the harms and the continued oppression of families. We hope that this framework helps you understand or better understand how we can take abolitionist steps to ultimately abolish family policing.